3 d printing in Indonesia is quite unique because although Indonesia is full of cheap labor, we don't actually do a lot of research and development here. So most of the companies that manufacture in Indonesia are not usually Indonesian companies. And that is why most businesses in Indonesia that involves selling and making products are actually trading companies. And this is even more pronounced with premium brands that are selling premium products in Indonesia. I'm not sure the reason why, but probably Indonesian manufacturing standards do not meet their standards abroad. And in doing so, the premium brands abroad that are doing their business via local trading companies make it hard for those local trading companies to procure spare parts that are usually sold in bundles or only in high quantities. And that is where 3D printing comes in. Stuff like these, I cannot really tell you what these are, but these are all usually sold in very high quantities from the international importer to Indonesia. But usually these things are poorly designed and Indonesian companies don't have the right to suggest a modification to make them better. And so most of these companies started working with 3dprint.id or Metafuse to develop solutions for custom products that can accommodate their need of small quantities. And this is partly done because usually imported products were not researched or not developed with Indonesian customers in mind. So the solutions that we come up with partnering with these companies are actually tailored uniquely to the needs of Indonesian customers. So this part was the original part where it keeps breaking and it's made out of injection plastic HDPE and this is made from ABS they are 3d printed and modified to have more rigidity more ductility and proper design that company has started opening up the possibility of their customers buying only parts that are broken instead of buying the full set of things this is only one of the many cases that we handle every day where we help companies streamline their supply chain issues. Stay tuned for more like this.